looking at 77 degrees, calm winds, and fair skies here in Corpus Christi down on the bayfront. And if you look across the area, all you'll see is some thin high clouds out there. And that's associated with a jet stream, the subtropical jet stream, well to our south. And that's also kind of a fair weather signature out there. Warm temperatures across the state. Upper 60s to upper 70s, a little bit cooler out west of the Pecos, but around here, just beautiful out there. Temperatures ranging from, well, a very chilly 67 degrees along the water there in Port A to the 70s elsewhere, nearly 80 degrees in Allison. Uh, it was 80 to 82 degrees. You see 80 there in Robstown uh, in the interior this afternoon. Now we're starting to see a little bit of moisture coming back in on your Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon on into Thursday as that high moves off to the east. Uh, we start to pick up that humidity on that south-southeasterly flow, and you're going to feel the difference out there. Here's that high. You can see it sitting there just south of us, and it'll shift off to the east, and that, because of its, uh, its clockwise circulation, will bring that southeasterly winds. Notice out west, another cold front coming on in here. We'll see that front in here late on your Friday, and it will be associated with an isolated shower or two, but no big, heavy drought relieving rain. Here's what you do see though. That southeast wind really picking up uh, for your Thursday, uh, actually 14, 22 miles an hour, continuing much Friday and then shifting to the north behind that cold front coming in Friday night and Saturday, becoming more easterly Sunday and Monday as high pressure builds in. Now here's the disturbance that'll bring us a little bit of rain on your Friday and only a little bit. Uh, stronger amounts of rain up in northeast Texas. Uh, the second system, you've got to wait a few more days for, and it'll be developing and sweeping on down into the area from the central plains. A little harder to see in the upper level charts there, but it looks like Tuesday uh, you can have some scattered showers in the area. So as far as accumulated rain, well, it's not going to be too much on that Friday event, a few sprinkles here and there. You'll see a bit more on your Tuesday, maybe as much as a third of an inch, but no drought breaker out there. We are going to see a cool one tonight back into the lower to middle 40s across the board here. And then back up in the upper 70s to lower 80s for your Wednesday afternoon. So tonight, chilly again. Lower to middle 40s across the board. A light westerly wind under mostly clear skies. And then here's what it looks like. It's continued warm through the work week. That front comes in late uh, Friday with just a few showers. A little cooler over the weekend, dropping down into the 40s overnight once again for your Sunday morning and Monday morning. And then that little bit of a warming trend ahead of the showers that you're going to see on Tuesday.